Did you notice in John Wick, when John fights against Kane in a final dueling match to win his freedom, the spots they shoot each other are the same exact spots that the doctor, who helps John minutes before he becomes excommunicado in John Wick 3, asks John to shoot him to avoid suspicion because these spots avoid fatal injury. When John finds himself needing to kill the man Killa, who murdered his uncle Pieter to win a place back in his family, John ends up at Killa's nightclub and plays a game of fight card draw, where he is dealt both a pair of aces and eights which is known as the dead man's hand. When Winston refuses to step down as the manager of the New York Continental Hotel, John Wick is quickly sent to kill him. But as John meets face to face with Winston, he refuses to comply, leading the hotel to gain the status of deconsecrated, meaning the hotel is no longer standing on neutral grounds. As agents of the high table close in, Winston asks John what he needs, with John replying, guns, lots of guns, which is a reference to the same exact line Reeves says in The Matrix before he and Trinity go to rescue Morpheus. After John's house is broken into and his dog is killed, he prepares to make his return to kill the men responsible and wears his watch on the inside of his wrist, which is a tactic used by soldiers such as Marines to avoid giving away their position by reflecting light off of the glass. Amazingly, when John goes to the trouble of killing the Russian crime boss and his men in John Wick, only to fulfill the marker he owed to his old friend, who then betrayed him and put a $7 million bounty on his head in John Wick 2, leading John to become excommunicado with a $14 million bounty, where he fought off countless assassins in John Wick 3, all of this happened in the span of a single week. When John first goes to the Bowery King to take refuge from the many assassins chasing him, before the Bowery King gives John a gun with seven bullets, he goes to two lockers and chooses the one with the red items in it over the blue, referencing the choice between the red and blue pills in the Matrix. 